Good evening. I am your host of The Unexpected Detour. Where in life detours are inevitable, my name is Frances Hammond. I just came on here because, as you see, I have a bald head due to alopecia and cancer, which they always say that the hair grows back, my hair grew back, but then due to the medicine, it fell out. I had alopecia, tried to cover up the edges, wasn't working because that wasn't doing it. But anyway, I used to think that having a bald head was the easiest head to maintain because I wore my hair short all the time. So I knew wearing short hair takes up a lot of maintenance. So let me tell you something. Having a bald head is even more to maintain because when the little hair starts to grow back, you'll find yourself, oh, I got to shave again. So now, since I've learned how to shave my own head, and no longer have to go to the barber, which is good. This is like an every other day thing because the hair grows back fast. And then you don't want to have, like they say, spaces here because hair is not growing there. So you want to look neat all the time. So taking care of a bald head is more maintenance. Now, let me tell you something. When I first got bald it was from chemo. My hair fell out. I could not touch it. It was so painful. Just to touch here, it hurt like crazy. I wouldn't do anything. And then I looked it up and I'm like, am I supposed to wash this bald head? Come to find out, yes. The bald head still needs to be taken care of just as though as you had hair. So it was from that bald head, the first bald head of the chemo that I learned that you have to wash it. So now as time goes on, I also found out that just like when you have skin and you put lotion on there, this dome needs a little moisture to it too. You know, not just to make it shine, you know, but it needs that moisture because there are still hair follicles there. So yes, you put the moisture there. And then when you wash it, oh my gosh, it feels so good when you wash the bald head. It's so invigorating and it feels awesome. And as bad as I wanted my hair to grow back, I have come to the realization that I like this. This is me. I love the way it looks. Although I still have to maintain it, I am so comfortable in my skin that when I wake up in the morning, I look in the mirror and I say, she is just as beautiful as she was with the hair. But then I get a lot of more compliments now that I'm bald. When I had hair, I got compliments, but now they're like, you look so beautiful with your bald head. You have the face. I didn't believe it at first, but, you know, you have to be comfortable in your skin. And being comfortable in your skin, especially when you're bald and you're used to having hair, it took some time. But now, I am comfortable in my skin. I no longer have to pay the barber because I learned how to do it myself. I wash it. I moisturize it with conditioner just like if I had hair on my head and it's the same thing and yes scalp feels so good so don't judge the bald head if you have one rock it rock it like you had hair before don't let anybody tell you anything different because the same person you were with the hair you're gonna be that same person you were when you didn't have that hair but you'll learn to love you. It's an adjustment, I'm not gonna lie. It took a while, especially after it came out, chemo stopped, hair grew back, but then there was a problem. The problem was that around here where I had the alopecia, 
it would grow here in the ends, but it still had the alopecia there. And I thought about going to get the shots, and I was like, no, I'm not going to get that. No, that's a waste. Those are 12 shots. And when you're going through menopause, menopause makes your hair come out. The body goes through a lot of changes. So what the hell was I doing? I didn't need the shots or anything. And it wasn't until I took medicine for my breasts, which was called esomesetane, and my hair started to fall out. And it wasn't even falling out in the front. I was beginning to get the male pattern baldness right here in the middle of my dome. And I looked it up and I was like, oh, shoot, that's what that is. So I was encouraged to go and cut it off, period. Which it never got cut off where it looked like this. It just got down a little bit. You know, I still wasn't ready to get that complete shaven head. It really took me a while. And I would take pictures and I could see like the little fuzz there and the recedingness of here. And I was like, okay. So I keep my wrap on and take my pictures with it and didn't realize when I was taking pictures that you could still see the peach, the hair that was here, but not here. So eventually, I took the trip to the barber and I said, shave it. But still, his shaver did not shave it clean. The hair was, I could still feel the hair. It was like it was growing back really quick. Then I went and bought some kind of bug, buddy, some buddy thing. That didn't work either. So I said one day, I said, you know what? I'm going to try the same razor that you would shave under your arm with, and I'm gonna see if I could shave my head. Because I know a lot of men that are bald, and I would see them using the straight razor, not the not the long straight razor, the, like the Gillette razors. So that's what I decided to do. And voila, I was happy. The first time wasn't good. I had my little nicks, had little cuts behind my ear, had a little cut up there, but as time goes on, you perfect this. And once you perfect it, you are good to go. So I just wanted to get on here and encourage you. If the hair doesn't grow, go with the flow. Have a good night.